Hello there, Doug O here, your success accelerator, with another lesson for you. Today we're going to be talking about beating self-pity. I'm sure uh, at one time or another you may have uh, had an occasion to feel sorry for yourself, or perhaps you know someone who is always looking uh, for pity from other folks and always down in the dumps. Their life is so terrible, all of these bad things happening all the time, and you got to admit, they're kind of a drag. And if that's you right now, well, I understand that things happen. And yet, who is really responsible for staying in that state? All right. When things happen, it's uh, your responsibility uh, to change and move forward and drag yourself out of that. So how can you ha how can you make that happen? Well, let's talk about that for a moment. You know, Oliver C. Wilson said, "What poison is to food, self pity is." To life and would you knowingly poison your life now, if you want to move forward I get it things can happen you might be stuck and yet again who's really responsible for keeping you stuck see self-pity is a way of paying attention to yourself even if it is negative as a way to feel better so there are plenty of ways to feel better rather than going for the negative attention you know it, it's been said that you know for some folks any attention is good attention, and if the only way I can get it is having you know, to feel sorry for myself or to have others feel sorry for myself, well, I'll take it. Well, guess what? There are plenty of ways to get a lot of attention in a good, healthy, supportive, positive way. So, listen, life really is difficult when you're stuck in self-pity because that's what you're focusing on, and you're focusing on how bad things are. And uh, if you've been listening to enough of these messages from me, you'll remember that you find what you're looking for. And so listen, self-pityers, you're usually looking outside. They usually look outside of themselves for the source of their problems and struggle. Because if it's outside, then they have no control and there's nothing they can do. What do you want? You know, what do you want from me? I can't do anything about it. So if you're ready... If you're experiencing this right now, if you know someone is, you know, listen, if you're ready to stop feeling sorry for yourself and to stop giving away your power, then listen up. Choose to be responsible for your life. You know, simply just instigate, install a zero tolerance policy. Whenever you notice yourself stop, uh, starting to feel sorry for yourself, just say, stop it. Stop it. I will not feel this way. And just recognize it for what it is and choose to change. Say, I chose to be that way in the past. I now choose to be help happy. I now choose to look for the good in life. And then get moving. Literally, taking action and moving is one of the best things you can do. Keep yourself occupied. Keep yourself busy. Go do some physical exercise uh, the moment you choose to change that behavior. and. Instead, start focusing on what you have, all right? Being sorry for yourself is focusing on what you don't have. Choose gratitude instead. Be grateful for the things that you do have, uh, for the ability to breathe, uh, for having uh, whatever it is that you do have. There are plenty of people around the world that may not even have uh, that. Even if you have just a little, well, that's something. Start focusing in on being grateful for what you do have. And here's a quick, quick tip for you. If you feel uh, that way and, and as you're thinking about changing, run to the bathroom, put your hands over the sink, take a deep breath in, and then close your eyes and, and intend to just shift your attitude, shift your entire state, and relax, and just imagine that self-pity oozing out of your fingers like a black tar. Just imagine that coming out of your body, up through your arms, down, out, and your fingertips, and just oozing out of your fingertips right into the sink. And then as you do that, then turn on the water and just wash it right down the sink and, and wash your hands and, and just shake them out and notice how much lighter and how much better you feel, all right? So just wash yourself clean of self-pity because listen the secret of being miserable is to have leisure to bother about whether you're happy or not all right keep yourself occupied the cure is occupation have an awesome day this is doug ottersberg your success accelerator and i'll see you at the top